So Stephen Colbert did an amazing thing for South Carolina public schools, uh, which of course he attended as a kid. He decided to auction off his desk and fireplace set from his Comedy Central show, and he took the proceeds, as well as I think some of his own money, and he used it to fund every single grant request from South Carolina teachers. So he basically is just handing over $800,000 to the South Carolina public education system. That is incredible. $800,000. It's handing it over. <laughs> so it's going to pay for, quote, books, paintbrushes, field trips, technology, and other things to improve the learning experience. Now, here's the saddest part of this story. And Think Progress had an article about this as well. It's almost like the South Carolina schools had to depend on the goodwill of Stephen Colbert just to get by because there's tremendous underfunding, not just in South Carolina, but in a lot of conservative states all around the country, even in states that aren't conservative. You have the school systems that are terribly underfunded. And I hate to, again, make the same point over and over, but look at our priorities, man. Uh, you, Stephen Colbert shouldn't have to donate $800,000 to the South Carolina schools. That shouldn't be an issue. It, I'm not a big fan of blank checks, generally speaking, but if there was ever a situation where a blank check was merited, it would be for education. There are a few things I could think of. Healthcare is another one, blank fucking check. Probably insurance, right? Like, especially emergency insurance, blank fucking check. But this, education, definitely a blank check. But they don't have a blank check. Whether we're talking at the state level or the federal level, the United States government, or I should say governments in this case, they're stingy when it comes to spending on the population, when it comes to spending on the actual people. Then they're penny-pinching, then all of a sudden we talk about small government values and pull yourself up by your bootstraps. But whenever it comes to fucked up stuff... <laughs> Things that shouldn't be a priority, well, there we can spend like a drunken sailor. We just covered the story earlier in Wisconsin, how Scott Walker basically just said to corporations, yeah, go ahead, take as much taxpayer money as you want, and don't even report if you created jobs or did anything positive with it, and don't even worry about paying it back. We'll defer your payments. Just take the money, no problem. So we can give all the money in the world for corporate welfare. Nobody questions it. At the federal level, we can give all the money for war... And if you, if you dare question that, it's, you know, oh my god, treason, lock them up. But when it comes to educating people, giving health care, then you need a TV host to step in and from out of the kindness of his own heart, donate $800,000 just so that they can have what they should have in the first place. It's depressing, man, and it's upsetting. And if you want to know why people are angry in America, it's because our priorities are this screwed up. But Stephen Colbert did a fantastic thing here with this great gesture.